so here I'm going to start with question number 12 of exercise 7.6 that is we have to integrate x 6 square x dx now here we are doing uh, the chapter of integration by parts so first thing we need to select one of them as u and the other one will be v so by the method of eyelet so this is the way we will select u so here you see a stands for algebraic and this x is basically algebraic and t is trigonometric so x square x is trigonometric so my u will be uh, algebraic that is x so the formula was what the formula we should get is that is u integration of v dx minus of integration of du dx then integration of v dx and entire dx so this was the formula of integration by part so here we are going to take x out then integration of 6 square x dx then we have minus integration of differentiation of x you see you are doing du dx so differentiation of x we already know it is 1 then we have integration then further integration of 6 square x dx and this entire thing it will be dx so we know that integration of 6 square x is tan x so we write this one as x tan x and minus integration of this one will be tan x dx now uh, we have to integrate tan x so we know that integration of tan x we know this formula the formula it goes like minus of log cos x plus c or you can write this one as log of sec x plus c but I will use this formula because there is a minus sign and minus sign minus sign it will, be made, it will become plus sign so we have log of cos x plus c that is how we integrate uh, x x square x and we get this one as our answer now let us do question number uh, 13 will be doing in the same way so so let's try do 13 so in question number 13 what do you see here we have tan inverse x is all alone in there so once you see tan inverse x is all alone so we can think of it as 1 into tan inverse x and 1 is basically an algebraic function and tan inverse x is inverse trigonometric so basically that tan inverse x will be u and 1 will be v so this one if I expand according to the formula this formula what happens is that it becomes tan inverse x integration of 1 dx that is only dx integration of dx minus integration of differentiation of tan inverse x we already know that is 1 by 1 plus x square then integration of dx and entire dx so this becomes integration of this one is what x tan inverse x and here we get minus of integration this integration gives us x by 1 plus x square dx so we are into a new integration for a problem in here that is we can write this one as x tan inverse x minus i1 so I am just separately doing that i1 so i1 is basically x by 1 plus x square dx now when I look into the problem I see the denominator it is 1 plus x square now if I differentiate the denominator I get 2x which I can see x is already in the numerator so that is how we should proceed so we will substitute so let 1 plus x square is equal to t and we'll write here differentiating with respect to x we get 2x is equal to dt dx so from here we're going to write dx therefore dx is equal to dt by 2x now if I substitute this thing in the above equation i1 so what you get is integration of so we have x divided by in place of 1 plus x square I will write t and place of dx I will write uh, dt divided by 2x so this x x gets cancelled so we have 1 by 2 I will take it out and integration of 1 by t is nothing but it is log t plus c1 so basically we are having half of log and t is what t is 1 plus x square so 1 plus x square plus c1 so my integration will basically be therefore i is equal to uh, what we have it is x tan inverse x x tan inverse x minus of half log 1 plus x square plus c so this is how we integrate so that's my solution of question number 13
Now question number 14, I will leave for you guys to do question number 14. So in question number 14, if I follow, I will just start up how to start this question. So if I write i is equal to x log x whole square dx, again I will use this method i laid and select which one will be u. So you can see clearly my u will be that logarithmic function log x whole square because algebraic function logarithmic functions comes before algebraic function so u will be my log x whole square so this is how you should proceed question number 14 by taking log x whole square as u and x as v now let me do question number 15 so question number 15 we have uh, i is equal to x square plus 1 that is log x dx so we have to integrate this one so for this one what we are going to do is again we have logarithmic function so we will take logarithmic function as u and x square plus 1 as v so we have log x integration of x square plus 1 dx minus integration of now differentiation of log x we know it is already 1 by x and integration of x square plus 1 entire oh sorry this one here will be a dx in there x square plus 1 dx and then entire thing dx so what we have now integration of x square plus 1 is what now you have to do separately so integration of x square is x cube by 3 and integration of 1 is x so we have x cube by 3 plus x log x minus this one is getting to us what integration of x square plus 1 is what we already seen that is x cube by 3 plus x and the entire thing is divided by x so that is dx so what we have in here is so we have x cube by 3 plus x log x now from the numerator you see it is x cube plus x so if I take x common this x from the numerator and from the denominator it gets cancelled so I am just talking about like this so we have we, if I take x common from the numerator we get this 2x get cancelled so what we have is x square by 3 plus uh, x square by 3 plus 1 sorry I made a mistake in here if I take x common it will be 1 so I have x square by 3 plus 1 dx this is what we have now we have to integrate that one so we have minus now integration of x square by 3 is what so basically 1 by 3 taken out and integration of x square is x cube by 3 and then minus integration of 1 is x so plus c so what we have in here the answer is x cubed by 3 plus x log x then minus x cubed by 9 minus x plus c so that's how we get to the answer of question number 15 so question number 15 is done now question number 16 now before doing question number 16 I'm gonna tell you one important formula the formula goes like uh, if I have an integration that is integration of e to the power x fx plus f dash x if I have an integration of this form we can directly write the answer as e to the power fx plus c e to the power x into fx plus c now how we can directly write this answer let us prove this thing so first uh, first what we will do is we will separate this one so e to the power, e to the power x into fx dx plus integration of e to the power x f dash x dx so we separated them now forget about this one now let us do integration of parts with e to the power x fx now when you uh, e to the power x fx so which one you should take u and which one you should take v that will be my question so here what I will do is I will take fx as my u and uh, e to the power x as v so we have what fx taken out so we have integration of e to the power x dx then minus integration of what we have since we have taken fx as u we have to differentiate u so differentiation of u or differentiation of fx is what it is f dash x then again integ integration of e to the power x dx then entire thing dx so what do we get so integration of e to the power x we already know that is e to the power x only so we have e to the power x fx then minus here again inti integration of e to the power x is what it is e to the power x so we have f dash x and that one is what dx now here actually I have forgotten to write this part so I will write here integration of e to the power x 
f dash x dx so now you see you have already got a term and we have here f dash x dx so this one this one gets cut so my answer you can see it to the power x fx plus c that's how we get the answer for this type of problem so whenever i see a problem of this form we can directly write the answer as e to the power x fx plus c so in question number 16 you can see the question is it it is in that form so here i is equal to integration of e to the power x uh, sine x plus cos x so this is the expression we have to integrate so what we are going to do is so i will write here let uh, let sine x is equal to fx then then f dash x is equal to cos x so now now i is equal to so from here we can say that i is nothing but i is equal to e to the power x sine x plus c so we can directly write the answer and how since integration of e to the power x fx plus f dash x dx is equal to e to the power x fx because of this expression we can directly write the integration as e to the power x sin x plus c so that's how we do question number 16 now let us try question number 17 so question number 17 is given by i is equal to integration of x e to the power x by 1 plus x whole square dx so this is my question now let us see how can we solve this question now in here what i am going to do is in the numerator i'm going to write here 1 plus x 1 plus x minus 1 e to the power x divided by 1 plus x whole square you can easily see that uh, 1 and minus 1 in the numerator this 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled and we can just have x so basically we are manipulating 1 and minus 1 in there and why we are doing that i will just we'll just go into that thing so now if i separate them so what we have is uh, 1 plus x by 1 plus x whole square e to the power x dx then minus integration of e to the power x I'm just separating 1 plus x and minus 1 so we have minus e to the power x 1 plus x whole square dx so we have two terms like this so now this 1 plus x this 1 plus x whole square they get cancelled so what we have the integration becomes integration of e to the power x by 1 plus x dx then minus integration of e to the power x by 1 plus x whole square dx now let us write them together so if i write them together now taking e to the power x common so what we have is 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square dx so this is what we have now let us write let fx is equal to 1 by 1 plus x if i say fx is equal to 1 by 1 plus x then what is f dash x then f dash x is equal to what differentiation of 1 by 1 plus x if you differentiate this one 1 by 1 plus x that is basically it is 1 plus x to the power minus 1 so minus 1 comes ahead 1 plus x to the power minus 1 minus 1 so we have minus 1 1 plus x to the power minus 2 so we have minus 1 divided by 1 plus x whole square so basically my f dash x is minus 1 by 1 plus x whole square and that's what you see in here if this is fx and this is my f dash x minus 1 by 1 plus x square so what you can write therefore i is equal to the answer is e to the power x 1 plus x plus c so you can write that formula by using which formula which you are doing this one that is integration of e to the power x fx plus f dash x dx is equal to e to the power x fx so you have to write that expression that with the help of that formula we are writing the answer directly so now question number 17 is done okay now what we have is mm, question number if I go to now question number 19 you see it is the same thing question number 19 is also same it is if I say fx is equal to 1 by x 1 by x so f dash x is equal to what minus 1 by x square 
so again the answer of question number 19 will be nothing but e to our x by x plus c that will be the answer for question number 19 now question number uh, 20 again the same thing i'll just discuss about question number 20 now in question number 20 we have to write in certain form let me just write that thing so we have x minus 3 divided by x minus 1 whole cube e to our x so this is my question so what how am i going to write is here you see in the denominator there is x minus 1 so i will try to get in the numerator also x minus 1 so i have i can write this one as x minus 1 minus 2 divided by x minus 1 whole cube e to the power x dx dx now separate them so if i separate we have e to the power x so we have x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole cube then minus 2 by x minus 1 whole cube dx this is what we have so here x minus 1 x minus 1 whole cube gets cancelled so what we can write e to the power x 1 by x minus 1 whole square minus 2 by x minus 1 whole cube so what we are going to do is i will take fx as let fx is equal to 1 by uh, x minus 1 now just differentiate this one uh, sorry fx equal to 1 by x minus 1 whole square now differentiate this one what do you get so basically it is equal to what x minus 1 whole to the power minus 2 so minus 2 comes ahead x minus 1 whole to the power minus 2 minus 1 so that is x minus 1 whole to the power minus 3 so that is equal to minus 2 divided by x minus 1 whole cube and that is what you see here that is what f dash x so here my answer will be directly e to our x 1 by x minus 1 whole square plus c that will be my answer for question number 20 okay this is done uh, question number 20 will be say we have to do integration of parts for question number 20 in question number 20 u will be my sin x and v will be my e to the 2x because if you look at i late i late exponential this e to the 2x is basically exponential and sin x is uh, that trigonometric function so you can easily use that formula uh, that formula integration of u v dx is equal to u taken out then v dx minus integration of du dx uh, then integration of v dx entire thing dx so you can use easily use this formula in question number 20 by uh, 21 by taking sin x as u and e to the power 2x as v so that's how we do question number 21 and question number 22 so let me just do question number 22 so what we have in question number 22 is uh, it is given by sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square so this is my question now this question can be done in a simple way the simple way is if i do x as tan theta in the side what i will do is i will write x is equal to tan theta i will assume that thing so what we have in here is sin inverse uh, 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta then this one 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is nothing but it is the formula of sin 2 theta so we have sin inverse sin 2 theta so sin inverse sin goes away so we have 2 theta so basically we have 2 x is equal to tan theta so basically it is what 2 tan inverse x right so here we just have to integrate 2 tan inverse x so what we are going to do is we are not going to substitute in here we are not going to substitute i will just write in order to simplify this problem we'll just write x is equal to tan theta so what we have is i will just write here sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x square i'm just taking this problem out of integration then i will i will simplify this one then i will put in integration okay so that's my main pro criteria will be so here i will write here let x is equal to tan theta actually we could have directly used the formula and we could have written that one to be 2 tan inverse x because we have already studied okay we can directly write that thing i don't want to write let we can we already know the formula of sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x square is 2 tan inverse x we have already studied this formula in inverse trigonometric functions 
So you can write here since 2 tan inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. You can directly write the formula. Now integration of 2 tan inverse x is what? It's quite easy. And this one we have already done. If you look at carefully, uh, it is question number 13. So question number 13, we have already done integration of tan inverse x. So you can easily look, uh, this, uh, look at this question in question number 13. You can go through that from question.